Alright, today we're gonna be reacting to another cut video. Singles get brutally honest on the button. Let's not waste any time, let's jump right in it. What was the first thing you noticed that was unattractive to you? How do I just say them as a whole? Welcome to the button, a speed Dang. show. When the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person. Get out of here. If two people can last on a date for 10 minutes, they win an all expenses paid second date. This is the button. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good. So what are you looking for? Like, why did you come on this? I didn't experience a lot of things as a child, so like... Why didn't you experience a lot as a child? If you want to... They actually look like they could be a couple. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Were they like super religious? My parents were really religious. Not really religious, just really, really like strict and limiting of everything. Yeah. I don't talk to them anymore. Like, oh, interesting, interesting. Fun fact about Andy. Yeah. They have two possums in their freezers right now. So tell me about that. Why do you have two possums in your freezer? Well, I found them on the road and they were very fresh and um... <laughs> All right, that's a little far. I don't know if exactly how it works yet, but I think the button, like, they don't actually tell the button these facts. Like, I think the button digs it up from, like, their social medias or something, and it just throws it out on them. Because that's crazy. And she looked like she didn't even want to have to explain that right there off the bat. Talk about first impressions. Oh. Only ones I find. I don't kill them myself. That's cheating. Yeah. I that's cheating. Wait, what? We got a full-on Michael Myers over here, bro. <laughs> Uh. Everywhere I go, I, I find bones. She's waiting for that button. Wait, everywhere she goes, she finds bones? <laughs> Where is she going, bro? <laughs> She's like walking through cemeteries on the daily. <laughs> Wait. I don't know if you'd really find bones at the cemetery. <laughs> that's a whole different story, bro. What is she doing? <laughs> I don't know why. It's just Wait, that's crazy. What do you mean, like, like just outside? Yeah, it's just like a weird ability. It, it, it's... I've never seen- A weird ability. Okay, so if you could have any superpower, what would it be? I'm picking finding bones. <laughs> I want the ability to find bones. I've seen a bone in public in my life. I'm, like a, I'm like a metal detector, but it, for bones. <laughs> so I've definitely seen bones in my life, but like hiking and going far into things, like you'll see stuff here and there, but like they seem like they're finding them on the daily, bro. <laughs> Take me to the park and I'll find you bone. <laughs> I think it, because I'm like pretty, I was raised in a very like family oriented, even though my parents. I would have hit it too. <laughs> I would have hit it too. <laughs> I'm already big about what's in my fridge, food going bad or certain foods that smell or like you got to keep certain things like packaged properly and everything because that, that stuff will ruin your fridge, man. We got a full on like Jeffrey Dahmer fridge up over here. How's her like house not like smelling, bro? <laughs> She's got like the, the thing that packages it and sucks all the air out of it and everything. <laughs> <laughs> oriented with their families you know so it wasn't the bones it wasn't the bones no the bones were great no and it wasn't the preserving dead animals no those yeah it wasn't things. the bones so, at all. those are great so things you know, <laughs> a fridge full of Mandy, Mandy, dead Mandy, animals you know. so what would you like if you're starting to go on like a first date with a partner like what are things that you enjoy doing i like going to like like places out like where there's like activities and stuff like right you know like board game cafes all right they definitely don't seem like, person, but, like a good couple like, park, like that kind of thing like oh, that might be hard like i'm a pretty fully like all i do is outdoors yeah. that's for 40 hours <laughs> actually you know what the they both got like the vest thing and everything Sometimes it's like right. they could probably work out far away from the city and as far away from yeah. possible you know that's wait did she sharpen her teeth to be like vampire teeth i've seen that like a couple times in my life doesn't that hurt oh my gosh Where i go on like yeah i just like being out i think for that reason i'm gonna yeah but no that's totally fine otherwise also, you seem totally fine. yeah you seem very cool really too yeah i just don't think we if someone asked people, me bro i would have yeah. been like whoosh i would have been whoosh Bro, someone's like, it's okay if I hit that. I would have been like, whoosh. No, it's not okay because I'm quick with it. It was so nice it to meet you. So yeah, have a good one. Yeah, you too. Hello. Hi. Isaiah. Mandy. Mandy. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you as well. I'm loving the piercing and I yeah. see the whole like button set. <laughs> My flare. Uh, yeah, is that like <laughs> anything special to you or like what's going on there? I have like my cat. Um, yeah. It's all good. Um, I just don't see myself becoming. They like, edited right into that. And, like, <laughs> the aesthetic, like, yeah, just they probably like didn't even say anything like interesting at all to each other that whole time. 
So they edited it all out. So they ate them as a whole. Um, hello, Isaiah. I'm Ambrose. Nice to meet you. Ambrose. Yeah. Okay, I'm already <laughs> loving. I'm already <laughs> loving the looks that you're serving. Okay, yeah. Me too. Tell me about your dynamics and what you look for in poly relationships. I'm not looking for like a primary partner. I have a primary partner. Cool. Right. So, um, and I. I feel like he's already like not really into like look he's got the full on dress shirt semi casual you know what I'm saying and then like crop top like rock and roll hippie looking it's not often you see like a grunge person like that with a clean cut person like that <laughs> yeah. so I am 23 okay. um so like I'm still like young 20s really just still starting my life in the my yeah. life scene so you're very cute, but you're so young. <laughs> I'm 34, so it's just a little Understandable. bit of a <laughs> good luck. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice yeah. meet you as well. Hi. I'm Alexa. I'm Ambrose. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, what are you looking for here? Like, I have a primary partner that's still that I'm committed to, and that's yeah. going to be my primary. I am a very romantic person, mm -hmm. so I'm definitely looking for someone that I can have like a very close relationship with, but not necessarily like moving in. But like, what about you? I really just like connections with people and enjoying them how they are. Yeah. So I have a, a very limited amount of time, so I don't have okay. like the full you know, yeah. attention to be able to commit that to somebody yeah. and spend a lot of time with them. What do you mean when you say you don't have a lot of time? So I have two kids, mm -hmm. two jobs, mm -hmm. <laughs> a primary partner. Um, weekends are like pretty much my only time to hang out, which yeah. is... She looked at the butt. I knew it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> she already like glanced at it before. With kids, especially. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. It's alright. They don't really like hanging out with adults either. Okay. Good. <laughs> well, thank you. It was, it was nice, nice to meet you. you. Have a good one. Yeah. I'm Alexa. Alexa, it's good to meet you. I'm Emma. Nice to meet you. Oh, got hit with the ads. I don't even know. Yo, I don't even know, bro. Go, better go, better stow. I think I left the stove on. I'll, I'll be. I, I think I left the stove on. I'll be right back. Emma, I like your earrings. Thank you. I, I like your whole outfit. Thank you so much. I feel like we have like competing aesthetics. Here. I know a little bit. I'm a little bit. A lot of earrings. Do you yeah. usually wear a lot of like? I definitely trolls? yeah. I definitely prefer like browns, but I love. Pasta. They definitely seem like yeah. the closest matching really couple out of everybody so far. Yeah. So tell me, like, how do you how do you date? How do you do non monogamy? I have I have a primary partner. They live in Chicago, um, so it's a long distance relationship. So I'm kind of really just open and curious and excited to meet people and kind of explore that kind of relationship. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? I've been like poly kind of my whole adult life. Um, I definitely approach polyamory in a very like non hierarchical way. Whatever, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I but... like that and I appreciate that. Yeah. This is very. It's a little bit new to me and I've. Like my partner has other partners and that's been working really well for me. And I'm definitely like interested in meeting someone who's more well, like well versed in it. Yeah. Like, Emma, do you think you can be a good teacher? Oh, I'm an excellent teacher. Yeah. Yeah, I work in education. Oh yeah. Yeah, I originally was a preschool teacher, but now I'm a nanny. Okay. Um, which yeah. is probably not maybe applicable to like how good I am at like dating, but I really love like dating in relationships. Yeah. This is like the the thing right now because the whole Adam 22 and Lena the plug, bro, they like monetized on it. Wait, hold on. Look, I got to show you guys. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, here we go. I found it. Okay, Lena, I'm so proud of you doing your first ever BBC scene <laughs> that I decided that I wanted to <laughs> no get you way. a little something nice. Open your eyes. What? This? For me? Oh my God. Babe. I really need to keep this? This is for you. Anything for my queen. I mean, hey, they rocking it, bro. W couple. W couple. <laughs> About frames. Wait, Alexa? Yes? Can you look deep into Emma's eyes mm -hmm. and in a sexy voice explain the sexiest parts of picture framing? <laughs> okay, the sexiest parts of picture framing. Sexy voice. What's picture framing? Okay, so I have to say the sexiest part of picture Sexier. framing is... I'm trying. <laughs> You're doing great. Just like this very fancy type of glass yeah. that's anti-glare and 99% UV protected. <laughs> sexy. And it will make your art very sexy. Is it expensive? Yes. Hot. What kind of conversation? <laughs> yes. She took a workshop. Have you, what have the? you ever, ever engaged with um, uh, maybe some point. Maybe. Who knows? You don't know. <laughs> what? No, probably. Uh, what is this? Probably. What I, am I watching? <laughs> I'm not going to. Post I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks everybody who stuck around at the end of the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.